Welcomes my dear children. Myself Sri Prasad Pandey, lecturing mathematics of Narada Vidya Mandir Plus Two Science College, Parampar. Now, last class we have discussed the exercises of a matrices. Okay, four A. Now, last class we have discussed uh, one to five. Okay. Now to continue from six. Okay. Now our six question is. Six number question is first bit. It says uh, find the find the two cross two matrix two cross two matrix X if X plus zero one one zero this is equal to two zero zero. Okay. Now first bit of a six the find the matrix X the matrix X of the order two cross two that is two rows and two column and if we add this X with this matrix we get this therefore matrix X consider that matrix X is equal to let's say A B C D okay now this plus zero one one zero so uh, a, B, C, D. This is our matrix X. If we add 0, 1, 1, 0, now we get that is equal to 2, 0, 0, 2. Therefore, this implies this matrix A, B, C, D is equal to this minus this matrix that is 2, 0, 0, 2 minus 0, 1, 1, 0. That is equal to 2 minus 0, 2, 0 minus 1, minus 1, 0 minus 1, minus 1, and 2 minus 0, 2. This is our matrix X. We consider X is equal to ABCD. Therefore, X is the matrix 2, minus 1, minus 1, and 2. Therefore, X is our matrix. If we Add this matrix to this, we get this matrix. Okay. Now here get, uh, add the x matrix with the 0, 1, 1, 0. Verify that. If we verify 2 minus 1, minus 1, 2. 2 plus 0, 2. Minus 1 plus 1, 0. Minus 1 plus 1, 0. 2 plus 0, 2. Therefore, the matrix x is equal to 2 minus 1, minus 1, 2. Okay. Now second bit is second bit of six given x y z it is a row matrix upper order one cross three single row and three columns this minus minus four three one or we get the value of the determinant 5, 1, 0. Find the value of x, y, z. Therefore, I mean, this matrix minus this matrix, we get this matrix. Therefore, this is equal to this matrix plus this. This implies x, y, z matrix is equal to this matrix minus 5, 1, 0. And this take in the R is the side, we get plus minus 4, 3, 1. Okay? Now, we this two matrices, we get minus 4 plus minus 5, that is minus 9. Okay? 1 plus 3, 4, 0 plus 1, 1. Therefore, this implies x, y, z matrix, x, y, z matrix is equal to minus 9, 4, and therefore, two matrices are equal. Therefore, the corresponding elements are also equal. This implies x is equal to minus 9, y is equal to 4, and z is equal to 1. Okay, put x will minus 9, minus 9, minus 4, minus 4, that is plus 4, minus 9, plus 4, that is equal to minus 5. Here, y is equal to 4, 
4 minus 3 that is equal to 1 and put that is equal to 1, 1 minus 1 that is equal to 0. Therefore, the value of x is equal to minus 10, y is equal to 4 and z is equal to 1. Now, third bit is if
1, 4, 1, 3, 2. This implies matrix X is equal to this matrix minus this matrix. So 4, 1, 3, 2, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, 7. This is equal to 4 minus 2, 2, 1 minus of minus 3, 4, 3 minus of minus 4, 7, 2 minus 7, minus 5. Okay, therefore, if we add this matrix to this, we get this. Therefore, if you write in x 2, 4, 7, minus 5, if we add this to matrix, we get this. Verify this. We can also verify this. 2 plus 2, 4, or plus minus 3. 1, 7 minus 4, 3, minus 5 plus 7, 2. Therefore, therefore, this matrix, when we added with this, we get this matrix. Okay? Question for 6 is over. Now, question 7, calculate whenever possible the following product. Question 7 says, find the product if possible. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is a matrix. If we multiply this by this matrix, then we find the product of these two matrices. Here, there are two columns and there are two rows. Therefore, we can find the product these two matrices. Then first row first column is 2 plus 2, 2 into 1, 2, 2 plus 2 into 3, 6. Then first row first column is 2 plus 6. Second row first column 3 into 2, 6 plus 4 into 12, 4 into 3, 12. That is equal to 8, 18. If we multiply these two matrices, we get this. This is our first bit of 7. And second bit 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here in pre prefactor there is only one row but here two sorry one column pre matrix contain only single column but here two rows therefore number of column of this matrix is not equal to number of rows of the post matrix that we cannot find its product okay. Similarly, you can find the product of third question 1, 2, 2, 1 with 3, 1, 1, 1. We can find this to, we can multiply this matrix to this matrix. First row, first column, 3 plus 2, 5. First row, second column, 1 into 1, 1 plus 2, 3. Second row, first column, 2 into 3, 6 plus 1, 7. Second row, second column, 2 into 1, 2 plus 1. This is our product of these two matrices. Okay. Now, fourth bit, fourth one is 1 minus 2 minus 2, 3 multiplied with 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1. In the same way, here order is 2 cross 2, here order is 2 cross 3. Therefore, number of a column in this matrix, pre matrix is equal to number of row of a post matrix that we can product this matrix with the, this therefore uh, we can find first row first column first row second column first row third column second row first column second row second column and second row third column not zero you can find the values of this matrix and the order of this matrix is 2 cross 3 2 cross 3 you can find the value of this or uh, entries or elements of the matrix okay using multiplication process now go to 8 in question 8 same multiplication you can do this ok now question is 8 if a is equal to 1 2 3 4 if a is equal to 1 2 3 4 b is equal to 3 2 1 4 and C is equal to 2, 2, 1, 3. 2, 2, 1, 3. If A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, this matrix, order 2 cross 2, 
ऑर्डर टू क्रॉस टू ऑर्डर टू क्रॉस टू ए बी सी मैट्रिक्स सर स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स ऑफ ऑर्डर टू ओके देयर फॉर वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई ए विद बी सॉरी वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई ए विद बी एंड वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई ए विद सी आल्सो वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई बी विद ए वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई बी विद सी वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई सी विद ए मैट्रिक्स एंड वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई सी विद बी मैट्रिक्स we can find a b matrix similarly b a matrix we can find b c matrix and also c b matrix we can all we can multiply a c matrix and also find c a matrix all the products are possible you can do this problem proper way okay Now, ninth question is say find the following products. Two matrices are given. First bit is order of two. Both are order of two. Then we can multiply both. Okay. First question is one two three four multiplied with the one zero zero one. This is our unit matrix. If we multiply these two matrices, then the product is this matrix because This is our unit matrix. Therefore, we can find this product one into one one plus zero. That is one. One into zero. One into zero zero plus two into one two. Therefore, two. Three into one three plus zero. That is three. Three into zero plus four into one four. Therefore, this into this is equal to this. In same way, we can find second bit, third bit, and fourth bit. But here fifth bit is. One i i minus one and find the square. One i i minus one of a square. This let this is there. We can find a square. A square means if this matrix multiplied by two times. That is one i i minus one with the one i i minus one. This is equal to first row first column one into one one. I into I, I square. Okay. First row, second column. One into I, I. I into minus one, minus I. First row, second column. Second row, first column. I into one, I. Minus I into I, minus I. Second row, first column. Second row, second column. I into I, I square. Okay. Then minus one into minus one, plus one. We know. I value of i square is equal to minus one. I square is equal to minus one. Therefore, put the value of i square one plus one plus minus one. I minus one zero. I minus i zero. I minus i zero. I minus i zero. I square means minus one plus one. Therefore, this is equal to one minus one zero 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 zero. Therefore, we get the zero matrix. Okay. In the same way. You multiply sixth number unit zero one one zero with the A B C D matrix. Okay, we can multiply all the bits of a question nine. Now you go to question number ten. Write true or false in the following cases. Question number ten. Write true or false. Write true or false. First statement: The sum of a three cross three, three cross four matrix, add with the three cross four matrix, then we get three cross three matrix. This statement is false. I'm out a three cross four row matrix number. Out a three cross four row matrix at the end of the period because they are same order. In their addition, if we two matrices are same order, then we can add to this matrix. After addition, they also a plus b. After addition, a plus b also same order. Therefore. 
this uh, 3 cross 4 uh, add with the another 3 cross 4 mat matrix then we get the 3 cross 4 up here this is taken 3 cross 3 therefore it is false statement ok now second bit k into k is a scalar and there is n a 0 matrix if we multiply this we get always 0 matrix ok but here right this is equal to 0 ok therefore this is false statement this is false statement and third one is third one is a minus b is equal to b minus n if one of a and b are 0 a b are of the same order a b the type of same order you are with the water the normal and zero matrix you know that this condition satisfy with the equals into zero matrix you go to the hill so you have one element that comes there b is zero therefore you can find a minus b is equal to a if you found b minus a in b minus a this is zero matrix we get minus a therefore a is not equal to minus a if g a is zero matrix zero minus b is equal to minus b left hand side minus b and right hand side b minus a if a is zero matrix we get b therefore b is not equal to minus b is not equal to b therefore this statement is also false statement okay similarly fourth bit a plus b is equal to b plus a if a and b are matrices of same order data the order same or see i mean a plus b is same as b plus a okay it is true statement now fifth is both the if we add to this we get zero matrix we get a zero matrix therefore it is also true if we add this two matrix one zero minus two zero with the minus one zero two zero if put this two add one minus one zero zero plus zero zero minus two plus two zero zero plus zero therefore we can write it zero matrix therefore this statement is true now sixth bit Three one six two is equal to three into one one two two. Three into one one two two means if we multiply a matrix with the scalar, we can multiply every element of this matrix with the by the scalar. Therefore, three into this matrix is equal to three three six six. Therefore, this matrix is not equal to this. Therefore, this is our false statement. With five elements, a matrix cannot be constructed. So, five element A, B, C, D, E. So, five element is the same matrix. So, if five elements are the same matrix, then we have to write one row, five column, or we can write A, B, C, D, E. Therefore, it is false statement. So, because with using five elements, we cannot construct a matrix. Therefore, we can construct a matrix using five elements. Now, last one is the unit matrix is its own transpose. Eight bit. Unit matrix. Let's zero one. 1 0 0 1 and its transpose is also first row contain first column and second row changes to second row thus both this is that this is a this is a transpose therefore transpose of unit matrix is same unit matrix okay therefore the unit matrix is its own transpose okay so for example of order 3 g1 let a is equal to b is equal to 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 if we <coughs> find b transpose we get first row to first column second row to second column third row to 
third comma. Therefore, if B is this unit matrix, then they transpose also same. Therefore, last statement the unit matrix is it won't transpose. This statement is true statement. Okay. Now I go through eleven number question. Question number eleven. If A is if A is equal to two, four, three, thirteen, and I is equal to one, zero, zero, one, then find find A minus alpha I. Okay, alpha I belongs to that means alpha J scalar. Okay, here a is equal to this. That we can write two, four, three, thirteen minus alpha and y. I means this unit matrix. Unit matrix. If we multiply alpha with this, we get alpha zero zero alpha. That means alpha i is equal to this. Therefore, we can subtract this from a. We get two minus alpha four minus zero four three minus zero three. 13 minus alpha, 13 minus alpha. Okay, this is our a minus alpha i. Okay. Now, question problem. Find the value of x and y. Find the value of find the value of x and y. First, wait. If x minus 2y Sorry, this is x here minus two y here zero here minus two. This is a matrix and another matrix one minus eight zero minus two. If two matrices are equal, then corresponding elements are equal. Therefore, here x is equal to first of first column is equal to one minus two y is equal to minus two y. Is equal to minus eight. This implies y is equal to minus eight by minus two. That is equal to four. Therefore, x is equal to one and y is equal to four. Okay. In the same way, we can find all the matrices. Okay. Now, last one, bit number five. Now, oh, and one more bit number third. It says two x minus y of x plus y. Is equal to three minus nine. That means if these two matrices are equal, we can write two x minus y is equal to three and x plus y is equal to minus nine. If we add to this minus y plus y cancel, three x two x plus x three x is equal to three minus nine minus six. This implies x is equal to minus six by three is equal to minus two. Okay. Here x is equal to minus two. Put the value of x in this equation. X plus y is equal to minus nine. Therefore, x is equal to minus two plus y is equal to minus nine. This implies y is equal to minus nine plus two is equal to minus seven. Okay. Two x minus seven. Two x minus y is equal to three. X plus y is equal to minus nine. So cancel out. Three x is equal to minus six. X is equal to minus two. So x plus y is equal to minus nine. Put the value of x minus two plus y is equal to minus nine. This implies y is equal to minus nine plus two is minus seven. So therefore x is equal to we get x is equal to x is equal to minus two and Y is equal to minus seven. Therefore, put x zero to two into two four minus seven minus seven. That is the four plus sorry minus four plus seven. That is minus four plus seven is equal to three. If we here put x is equal to minus two and y is equal to minus seven, therefore minus two minus seven is equal to minus nine. Therefore, x is equal to minus two and y is equal to minus seven. Okay.
Now, fifth weight. Fifth weight of question number 11. 2x minus y. This is a matrix. Plus y 3x. This is another matrix. This add with this matrix we get 5 into 1 0 matrix. Okay? Find the value of x and y. If we add these two matrix, we get 2x plus y, 2x plus y. Then we add these two, we get minus y plus 3x. This two add, we get this matrix that is equal to 5 into uh, 1 0 means 5 into 1 5 and that is equal to 0. This implies if these two matrices are equal, if two matrices are equal, we get 2x plus y is equal to 5 and 3x minus y, 3x minus y is equal to 0. If we add 2, plus y minus y cancel out, 2x plus 3x, 5x is equal to 5 plus 0, 5, this implies x is equal to 5 by 5 is equal to 1. If we put x is equal to 1 in this equation, 2 into 1 plus y is equal to 5, this implies 2 plus y is equal to 5, this implies y is equal to 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Okay? Now, 13 number question, 13 number question, the element of i throw and z column of the following matrix i plus j given complete the matrix a i j is equal to i plus j, that means here write a matrix 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, dot, 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 4, 5, 6, 5, 5. This is our first or first column, therefore i equal 1, j equal 1, therefore 1 plus 1, 2. Here first or second column. 1 plus 2, 3. First row, third column, 1 plus 3, 4. First row, fourth column, 1 plus 4, 5. In the same way, we have filled all the blank position. Here, the position of this element is A, second row, fourth column. Therefore, we can write 2 plus 4, 6. In the same way, this is our third row, third column. Therefore, we can write 6. This is our third row, fourth column, 3 plus 4, 7. This is our fourth row, second column. Four plus two, six. Fourth row, third column, seven. Four plus three. Fourth row, fourth column, four, 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 eight. This is our one, two, three, four, five. Fifth row, first column, five plus one, six. This is our fifth row, second column, five plus two, seven. This is our fifth row, third column, five plus three, eight. This is our fifth row, fourth column. This is our five plus four, nine. In this way, we can fill all the elements of this matrix okay now what in number write down the matrices a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 okay if aij is equal to and given the condition is if aij is equal to 2y plus 3j. This is our first row, first column. Hello, of i is 1, j is 1. If we put i is equal to 1, j is equal to 1, a11 one one is equal to 2 into 1 plus 3 into 1. This is equal to 2 into 1, 2 plus 3. That is equal to a11 one one is equal to a11 one one is equal to 2 plus 3, 5. In similar way, here i is equal to 1, j is equal to 2. Okay? So, 2 into 1, a 1 2 is equal to 2 into 1 plus 3 into 2 that is equal to 2 plus 6 2 plus 6 that is 8 
in the same way 2 into 1 2 plus 3 into 3 9 2 plus 9 11 2 1 i is equal to 2 or j is equal to 1 so 2 into 2 4 plus 3 into 1 4 plus 3 that is equal to 7 and i is 2 j is 2 2 into 2 4 plus 3 into 2 6 plus 4 10 and a 2 3 a 2 3 means i is equal to 2 j is equal to 3 2 2 2 into 2 4 plus 3 into 3 9 4 plus 9 that is 13 okay therefore we can find this matrix if a i is equal to 2 i plus 3 j the elements are 5 8 11 7 10 13 in the same way we can find the matrix of question number 15 okay now question number 15 construct 2 cross 3 matrix 2 cross 3 matrix means 2 rows 3 columns that is a11 a12 a13 3 columns and 2 rows 2 a 2 1 a 2 2 a 2 3 this is our matrix upper order 2 cross 3 and the first condition is a i j a i j is equal to i plus three. therefore here 1 1 therefore this is equal we get 1 plus 1 2 1 plus 2 3 1 plus 3 4 2 plus 1 3 2 plus 2 4 2 plus 3 5 this is our matrix and condition a i j is equal to i plus j similarly you can find i minus j i plus j and i into j and i divided by j ok if we uh, construct the matrix a i j is equal to i divided by j i divided by j we get i divided by j 1 by 1 1 1 by 2 either 0 0.5 or half 1 by 3 2 by 1 that is 2 2 by 2 that is 1 2 by 3 that is written as 2 by 3 therefore if a i j is equal to i divided by j we can write the matrix 1 half 1 third 2 1 2 third ok Now question number 16. If 2x y 1 3 2x y 1 3 plus 4 2 0 minus 1 this is equal to 8 3 1 2 find the value of x y x y the value of y. So, this to add up to this matrix is gives this matrix therefore 2x plus 4 2x plus 4 y plus 2 1 3 plus minus 1 2 is equal to 8 3 1 2 therefore 2x plus 4 is equal to 8 this implies 2x is equal to 4 2x is equal to 4 this implies x is equal to 2 in the same way, y plus 2 is equal to 3, this implies y is equal to 3 minus 2 is equal to 1, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1, ok? Question number 17. Find a such that, find a such that 2, 3, 4, 1, 0, minus 2, 3, 1, minus 1, plus a matrix, we give 1, 2, minus 1, 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 3, 2. If this matrix added with a matrix, we give this matrix. We find, we, um, if we add to this matrix, we get this matrix therefore this implies a matrix is equal to this matrix minus this therefore this matrix is 1 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 0 1 3 2 this matrix minus this matrix that is 2 3 4 1 0 minus 2 3 1 minus 1 this is equal to a is equal to 1 minus 2 
minus 1, 2 minus 3, minus 1, minus 1, minus 4, minus 5, 2 minus 1, 1 minus 1, 0, minus 1, 0, minus or minus 2, 2, 1 minus 3, 1 minus 3, minus 2, 3 minus 1, 2, and 2 minus minus 1, that is equal to 3. This for a the matrix this. Okay. Now question number 18. x plus y x minus z 2x minus y 0 is equal to 2 2 1 0 find the value of x y z if these two matrices are same then x plus y is equal to 2 x minus z is equal to 2 2x minus y is equal to 1 therefore we get the values of x y 2 x plus y is equal to 2 2x minus y is equal to 1 ok similarly x minus 2 is equal to sorry x minus z is equal to 2 in this two equation if we add these two in left hand side we get 3x is equal to 3 this implies x is equal to 1 put this value of x in first equation x plus y is equal to 2 x plus y is equal to 2 this implies x put the value of x is equal to 1 1 plus y is equal to 2 this implies y is equal to also 1 ok put the value x in this equation x minus z is equal to 2 put the value of x is equal to 1 1 minus z is equal to 2 this implies z is equal to z is equal to 1 minus 2 this is equal to minus 1 therefore z is equal to minus 1 ok x is equal to 1, x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1, and z is equal to minus 1. Okay? Next question is 19. What is the order of the matrix B? What is the order of the matrix B? If we multiply 3, 4, 2. 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 2, it is a matrix and order is 1 cross 3 with multiplied with the B matrix and we get the matrix 2, 1, 0, 3, 6. This question says what is the order of a matrix B? And if we multiply this matrix with B, the B, we get this matrix and order of this matrix is 1 row and 5 column, 1 cross 5. Okay? Now, this matrix is multiplied with the by B. They are conformable for product. Okay? Because if we multiply this to vector, we get this vector. Sorry. If we multiply this to matrices, we get this matrix. Therefore, we can multiply this matrix with the B matrix. Therefore, uh, here in first pre -mat pre -mat pre matrix, therefore there are three columns. So the number of rows in matrix B is three. Okay. If if we this multiply this matrix with B, we get the order is one plus five. Okay. Therefore, it the mm, rows is pre factor and its column is post factor. Post factor means B. Therefore, number of columns of B matrix is 5 because if we multiply these two 5 matrices we get this matrix therefore number of column of this matrix is equal to number of the column of B therefore order of B is 3 cross 5 ok jadi 3 ta matrix jodi ame got 3 ta matrix product kala par out of matrix pai che to ame 3 ta matrix jodi order jan che out of matrix ame order koi de pare ok this question is very very important. The 
મને ડેટા દઈ નથી હો તો એ આ કોઈને વટલે કે ડેટા દઈ નથી હો એક એ મેટ્રિક્સ a into b is equal to this matrix what is the order of a matrix dekho a, a matrix multiplied by the b therefore number of rows in b is equal to number of column of a okay and the number of rows of the resultant matrix is equal to rows of a therefore order of a is equal to 1 cross 3 okay in this way we can calculate the order of a another matrix क्वेश्चन नंबर 20 इफ फाइंड ए फाइंड ए इफ 4 1 3 मल्टीप्लाइड विद द ए मैट्रिक्स वी गेट माइनस 4 8 4 1 2 1 3 6 1 3 6 3. The order of prefactor is 3 cross 1. And if we multiply this a, we get this matrix. The order of this matrix is 3 cross 3. Therefore, from these two, we can find the order of a matrix. Order of a matrix means number of rows of a free matrix 1 and number of column of a this matrix and number of rows of this matrix. The number of rows Uh, sorry, number of column is equal to number of therefore uh, order is one and the number of column of this matrix is equal to number of column of matrix. Therefore here three columns. Therefore order of the matrix is one cross three. If consider the um, order of a matrix is one cross three, that means one row and three column. Consider a. B C. If A is equal to A B C or X Y Z or P Q R, okay. Consider X A is equal to X Y Z. If we multiply this matrix with the A matrix, we get this. Therefore, four one three multiplied with the X Y Z, we get. If we multiply this to first row first column four X, first row second column four Y, first row third column. Four z. Second row first column x. Second row second column y. Z three into x three x three into y three y three into z three z. If we multiply these two matrices, we get this. But as as per our question, if we multiply these two matrices, we get this. Therefore, both are same matrices. Therefore, this is equal to this. And we compare these two matrices. Four x is equal to minus four. X is equal to minus one. 4y is equal to 8, y is equal to 2, 4 that is equal to 4, therefore that is equal to 1. Or we can compare second row, x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 2, z is equal to 1. Therefore x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 2, and z is equal to 1. Okay. Therefore uh, a matrix, a matrix. One more question, that is x, y, z. We can write minus 1, 2, and 1. therefore matrix a is equal to minus 1 2 and 4 okay Now question number twenty one. Find B. Find B if B square is equal to seven ten eight eight seven. Okay, this is very very important. Find B if B square is equal to this. Order of B square is two plus two. Order of B square is two plus two. Therefore. Order of B is two plus two. Okay. Now B square means B into B. B multiplied with B is equal to B square. That is equal to order two plus two. 
therefore <coughs> number of four rows of this matrix is 2 and number of column of this matrix is 2 both are same same matrix no? B and B therefore number of row is equal to number of row number of column therefore order of B is equal to to order 2 or 2 plus 2 now consider now consider now consider B is equal to A, B, C, D. I mean, B, B matrix is order than the lake. I mean, B matrix is find B. Find B. Order of B is the lake. Find the matrix B. If B is equal to B. I mean, B is equal to B is equal to B. If B is equal to B, then it will be a little bit of 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 a little bit Multiply with A, B, C, D. Okay? This is equal to, if we multiply these two, we get first row first column, A into A, A square plus B, C. First row second column, A, B plus B, D. Second row first column, A, C plus D, C. Second row second column, B, C plus D square. This is our B square. B square is this. As per question, B square is equal to this matrix. Therefore, if B square is this and B square is also this, therefore this matrix is equal to 17, 8, 8, 17. If we compare these two matrices, if we compare these two matrices, we have A square plus BC is equal to 17 and AB plus BD is equal to 8 AC plus DC is equal to 8 and also BC plus D square is equal to 17 ok this is equation 1 2 3 and 4 ok A square plus BC is equal to 17 Similarly, AB plus BD is equal to 8, AC plus DC is equal to 8, and BC plus B square is equal to 17. A, in, in this, there are 4 equations and also 4 unknown or variables. Therefore, we can easily calculate the value of AB, CD. Okay? From equation 1 and 4, from 1 and 4. If A square plus BC is equal to 17, BC plus D square is equal to 17. Therefore, from 1 and 4, right side both are 17. Therefore, A square plus BC is equal to A square plus BC is equal to BC plus D square. BC plus D square. If we cancel BC, BC, we get this implies A square is equal to D square. This implies a is equal to plus or minus d. A is equal to plus or minus d. Okay? Now, from equation 2 and 3, from equation 2 and 3, we have AB plus BD is equal to 8 and AC plus DC is equal to 8. Okay? Here we get A is equal to plus or minus d. A is equal to plus or minus d. This is equation let 5. And from equation 2, from equation 2, AB plus BD is equal to 8. AB plus BD is equal to 8. If you take A is equal to minus d, if you take A is equal to minus d and put here AB plus A means minus d into b plus d into b, we get 0. Therefore, a is not equal to D. That must be from 2 and 5. From, from 2 and 5, we have, we have A is equal to D. A is not equal to plus or minus 2. We can consider only A is equal to D. Okay? Now, put here first we find A is equal to D. A is equal to D. Okay? 
Now, in equation 2 and 3, equation 2 and 3, AB plus BD is equal to 8. AB plus BD is equal to 8. This implies, if you put D is equal to A, in equation 2, put a D is equal to A, we get AB plus, here put D is equal to A, BA is equal to 8. This implies 2AB, 2AB is equal to 8. 2AB is equal to 8. Okay? Put the value of D in equation 2, we get 2AB is equal to 8. And put the value of D is equal to A in D is equal to Sorry, A, B, from equation 2 and 3, A, B plus B, D is equal to 8, A, C plus D, C is equal to 8, this is from 2, A, D plus A, B plus B, D is equal to 8, and A, C plus D, C is equal to 8, from 2, we can take common B, we get A plus D is equal to 8, and from this, we take common C, this is also A plus D is equal to 8. And from these two equations, if we A plus D multiply with C, we get 8. And A plus D multiply with C, we get also 8. Therefore, in these two, we have B is equal to C. B is equal to C. Now, we conclude that A is equal to D and B is equal to C. Okay? Now, put B is equal to C or C is equal to B in 1. Now, put now put C is equal to B in 1. We have A square plus B into B. Put B is equal to C. B into B that is equal to B square is equal to 7. Therefore, A square plus B square is equal to 7 and 2AB is equal to 8 and 2AB is equal to 8 ok now add to this a square plus b square 2AB left hand side we get a square plus b square plus 2AB is equal to 25 this implies this implies a plus b whole square is equal to 25 and this implies a plus b is equal to plus or minus 5 ok a plus b is equal to plus or minus 5. Similarly, if we subtract 2ab from a square plus b square, so we get a square plus b square is equal to 17 and also get 2ab is equal to 8. If we subtract this, we get a square plus b square minus 2ab that is equal to a minus b the whole square is equal to 17 minus 8, 9. This implies, this implies a minus b is equal to plus or minus 3 okay a plus b is equal to plus or minus 5 and a minus b is equal to plus or minus 3 if we solve this two if we solve this two we get we get a is equal to a plus b is equal to 5 a minus b is equal to 3 this implies 2a is equal to 4, this implies a is equal to, sorry, 2 is equal to 8, this implies a is equal to 8 by 2, 4. Okay? a is equal to 4. Put the value of a is equal to 4, this implies b is equal to 1. a is equal to 4, b is equal to 1. Okay? Now, a plus b is equal to minus 5, a minus b is equal to minus 3. Therefore, 2 is equal to minus 8, and a is equal to minus 4, and b is equal to minus 1, b is equal to minus 1, ok, if a is equal to 4, b is equal to 1, if a is equal to minus 4, b is equal to minus 1, ok, therefore the matrices are, we can consider b is equal to, b is equal to 1, a, b, c, d, therefore b is equal to, a is equal to 4, b is equal to 1, 1, 4, ok, or b is equal to minus 4, minus 1, minus 1, minus 4.
Okay. Therefore, the matrix is 4, 1, 1, 4 and also minus 4, minus 1, minus 1, minus 4. Okay. Now, the matrix B is equal to this. And also, we can from here, we can calculate this two equation, we get the value of A, B, C, D. This is A is equal to 4 is equal to D, therefore, we can put D is equal to 4. And B is equal to C is equal to 1. Here also, A is equal to, A is equal to, um, D is equal to minus 4, B is equal to, C is equal to minus 4. Therefore, B is equal to 4, 1, 1, 4. Or B is equal to minus 4, minus 1, minus 4, minus 1. Okay. Okay. We have covered up to 21. Now next class. If we go through this, this uh, can be taken. Two classes. Two. Okay. Next class. We go through uh, question number 22 to onwards. Okay. Thank you. Bye.